So welcome to one of the most delayed Duel Links videos on my channel, my YouTube character review. Back in January when he first came out, I wasn't really feeling that well that day and I just never kind of got around to making the video. So here we are, we're going to go for Yuto and see if he's any good. Spoilers, he's very good. Of course, the balance is coming out or it will. By the time you see this, it will be out with, of course, the uh, the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots to three and the, uh, the, the free to play card at two. So they are getting a bit of a hit and it's not a nice hit. It's a very big hit, but we have got a brand new skill by the event, which makes the rank two Phantom Knights a little bit better. And we've got two brand new trap cards, which uh, should also make the deck a little bit, or play a little bit differently, but also give it some brand new versatility. So let's dive in with this brand new reward cards. Brand new, what am I saying? This is old. We first of all have the Phantom Knights of Cloven Helm. This is completely useless. It is a level four, which you don't really want Phantom Knights. Like if a Phantom Knights card is sent to a graveyard, this card gains 500 attack points. So that's gonna happen every turn. So it can get pretty big, but it's not great. You can banish this card from your graveyard in the end phase of the turn and a Phantom Knights card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. If this said during your turn, not during the end phase, this wouldn't have been that bad, honestly. You know, it is level four again, but being able to return a card from your graveyard to your hand in Phantom Knights is pretty big. But the end phase, doesn't really help. It's kind of like a Skarm. That's, that's what it is, right? It is a Skarm. Nothing kind of incredible. Hey, Brad here. Sorry for interrupting your scheduled Duel Links content, but I have to ask you to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. Leave a comment, all that kind of thing. Then we have the Phantom Knights of Shadow Veil, vale, a trap card. Target a monster you control. It gains 300 attack points and defense points. Eh? When opponent's monster class direct attack was cast in your graveyard, a specialist card has a monster in defense mode with zero attack, your defense points but banish it when it leaves the field. Okay, uh, it's a battle trap. It's very slow. It's not very good. We have better cards like Phantom Knight's Sword and of course the Break Sword Valor skill. So you're never going to play this one. Then we have the boy who is going to be at two now. The Phantom Knights of Ragged Gloves. Unfortunately, go to a very, very good ultra rare level three. Kind of integral for the Phantom Knights in Door Links. And so it's going to be interesting to see where they kind of line up without this at three. A Darker Seas of Sunless card gains the following effect. It gains a thousand attack points. That is so, so important for the uh, the Break Sword, right? Because sometimes you don't want to use the Break Sword pop to pop itself to summon the Dark Rebellion. Sometimes you just want to sit on the Break Sword for a future turn. So giving it a thousand attack points, making it 3k, is very, very good. You can also banish the card from your graveyard to send a Phantom's card from your deck to the graveyard, which is great. It sends your Sullen Boots, it sends your. Um, your you are one for the mini box right the one you send to then get back the spell card gets you into your uh your fan nice breaks off from the skills so this is a very very good card then we have again a second copy of the clone helm a second copy of the shadow veil vale, our second ragged gloves and then of course our rank two the phantom knights of cursed javelin finally he'll be playable with the brand new skill but will the brand new skill be better than the old skill probably not it's going to be a bit different, right? It's going to make your deck a bit more generic. You can do a little bit more with it, but you're not getting that. You're not getting that fog blade. That's kind of the trade-off. You can't detach one of these material from this card. The entire face of monster controls is tap comes zero, and its effects are negated, and it can activate during either player's turn. It is basically a Gorgonic Guardian for rank twos, but it has to have a Phantom Knights card as material, so you can't use it in Paleo to get that effect off. But still, in Phantom Knights with the skill. That's really good, and I think because it's attack modulation, you can use it in a damage step. So, this might be the way going forward, right, Phantom Knights, is to make this card and have a, a Gorgonic Guardian in your opponent's turn. So, uh, I might try this build out, you know? I might try it if I have, them, if I have enough cards for it. I might try it. Then we have our third Cloven Helm, our third Rest in Peace Ragged Gloves, our third, no, our second Cursed Javelin, and then we have our third Cursed Javelin, you're never going to use three. And our brand new card, of course, by the level cap increase, the Phantom Knights of Wrong Magnet Ring. When opponent's monster collects an attack, negate the attack. Then special this card as an effect monster with zero attack and defense. Okay, so it is a buffed version of this card, right? This does the exact same thing. During the player's turn, you can send this card on one face of card you control to the graveyard to draw two cards. Maybe the rank two deck won't be that bad. I, I wish we had more of this, right? Like this with Paleos would be really, really good. If we got another one of this, that'd be cool. They won't give us another one because we need to get like level 40 rewards and that's going to take, you know, six months to a year, if not longer, based on other worlds. So unfortunately, this is going to be that hard one-off that you wish to draw, but you probably won't. 
now let's go on to his skills, of course. We have Draw Sense Dark and Low Level and Spell and Trap, so he has some very good skills. He has Fang of Rebellion, Dark Rebellion, which is the one that adds the Dark Rebellion to the extra deck and two Shadow Veil to your deck. Ah, uh, this is not the skill we like, right? We, we like skills that don't really interfere with the main deck. And this does it in a way that's really bad because it summons the level 4 monster. It doesn't summon level 2. It summons level 4. So yes, you are intended to go into Dark Rebellion with this or into a Malevolent Sin or an Abyss Dweller or something, right? This isn't how you do it. This is not the skill we like to see for a free-to-play skill. The Fluffle one, right, for Sora, is really good because it doesn't bloat your extra deck. Or your main deck, sorry. It gives you more extra deck cards, which is fantastic, but it doesn't bloat the extra deck. Or the main deck, sorry, again. So... Not, not the best skill in the world. He has a level dupe, he has overlay gain and removal. The Phantom Knight's Resurrected. Essentially, you're trading up to two cards from hands back into your deck to summon out two Phantom Knight's Trap cards in your graveyard as monsters, which is not very good, especially given you have this really harsh restriction on it. So, yeah, I'm not, not super in love with this skill. Then we have Phantom Regenerate. Select up to two Phantom Knight's Spell Trap cards in your graveyard and attach the Tonic Seize Dragon you control as materials. This is fine, it's basically giving Dark Rebellion your anime effect of being able to do it twice per duel. If it was not trap cards, then it might see play, but given it's trap cards, then I don't think right now it will be. You know what, there are better skills, at the end of the day, there are better skills. Then we have Phantom Trade, send one PK spell trap card from your hand to the graveyard and a PK monster from your graveyard to your hand. Huh, it's not terrible, right, a, a switcheroo basically is not terrible but you are locked into pk monsters which isn't the best so uh if you remove that restriction then maybe it'll be okay but sure then the big one is not this one we just did the one is phantom strategy the big skill that gives you fog blade this skill is by far the best skill they have at the moment you know the, the rank 2 skill is going to be good but nothing can kind of come close to giving you a free fog blade that is searchable by your archetype, right? And even if you don't search it, you still have access to Phantom Knight's Sword. Now, there is that downside that you can use Dark Warriors, but that's fine. Dark Warriors is a deck in Master in a TCG anyway by itself. And so, if we ever get to the point where we got a Dark Warrior deck, this will be plenty fine. You have got restriction on your extra deck, which I think they will change, you know, when they do get around to nerfing this skill eventually, they'll change that part. But overall, a fantastic skill and is why PKs are top tier. At the moment, I think they might be tier two with the change, right? With the, with the brand new uh, skill changes. So, very cool. And finally, we have Trap Monsters, which is a beatdown for trap cards. <laughs> okay. And then the skill I like the most is Shanky and Shang Shang from the brand new mini box. This is a super fun skill. I recommend people playing it. It gives you a free scale by scaling up a dollar's monster. And then you can go in, shit your board out, so many Pendulum Dragons, go for a Fusion or a Synchronic Seize play, and yeah, it's just a, a very fun skill. I have a link down below to a video where I went 28-0 with this skill, so uh, it's very, very good, and I think better than the PK skill, but that is just me coping. But anyway, that's my review of Yuto. Overall, a very good character, and of course, I'm glad it's finally available. For people who missed out in January, it's been four months without him. So uh, finally, you players who... Quit Duel Links to play Master if you've come back, you can now get Yuto, and you probably should do, because even though PKs have been hit on the ban list, and they're not going to be as good as they were, they are still a very, 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 very good deck. So, uh, maybe not DDD levels are good, but still a very good deck. So, uh, yeah, there's my review done. Neuvern, you're welcome. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.